My son just got told he cannot attend the school with his hair. If I don't, if that's not biased, I don't know what is. The first day of school at a private Christian school in Apopka. Six-year-old Clinton Jr. is turned away because he has dreadlocks. His father says he was so stunned he started shooting video on his cell phone. And he just told my son he can't come to school because he got hair. Wow, I can't plait it up. Can I braid it up? Can I braid it up? After much conversation and confusion, Clinton Stanley says staff members explained it's a rule. Boys cannot wear dreadlocks at the school, called a books Christian Academy. If a kid has dreadlocks, that's your personal standard. That's, that's a personal standard. That meaning that's a personal problem you haven't overcome because 95% of the kids that have dreadlocks are African American. You can see my school, it's probably 95% black. Obviously, I'm not a racist. John Book, the school's director, says it's their standard, says since it's a private school, he has that right, and it's a standard spelled out in their handbook. All boys' hair must be tapered cut off the collar and ears. There are to be no dreads. And in our school, our song is, Jesus loves the little children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. But we try to uphold certain biblical standards and certain degrees of order that enable us to maintain a school. Six-year-old Clinton Jr. doesn't understand, but he does understand two things. His first day of first grade didn't happen, and... Are you gonna cut your hair? No. Now the director of the school tells me that the six-year-old would be welcome back if he cut his hair, and the family says, no thanks. Live in Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.